one, action. Hi Becky, I'd just like to ask you today um, about your experiences in the show ring and okay. with um, Kerry Blues in particular. What brought you into show ring? Um, well, I initially started show with uh, Shetland Sheepdog and it was when I was young, I'd always wanted a dog for years and my mum and dad went and bought me a Shetland Sheepdog and um, to interact with it more we joined a local breed society and went along to some local shows and, and started attending bigger shows from that so I did a lot of junior handling and uh, came in that way. Uh, Kerry is I came to uh, later on, which I have at the moment um, through my husband because he um, he's a groomer, I'm also a groomer and um, we, we both are interested in breeds that we can both show and use for grooming competitions and the Kerry's an ideal subject for that really because they really stand out in the ring. Ah right, so how, how do they interact in the ring with the other dogs, how do you find them as, as a terrier? They're very lively, um, got a lot of character and personality. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, fiery on their toes and uh, they, they have a lot of action around the ring because of it, if you know what I mean. Like it, it, make, it flows, the personality flows into the motion. As you watch them go around the ring, uh, you, you can see the life in their eyes and it comes right away through to the feet of the children. Yeah. They're obviously very versatile because, as you said, you use them in grooming competitions and that, again, is a different environment. Yeah. You know, are the dogs settled in that environment? Oh, yes, yeah, because uh, cause we... Um, bring them up into these situations uh, from, right from young. Uh, when they're in the ring, we want them to act uh, more fiery and, and show off their top arm and their crest. In the uh, grooming situation, we want them to still show off their body, but be calmer because it takes a bit longer to groom than it does to show. So we might have um, maybe a couple of hours to do a full groom, so they have to stand on the table for a while whilst we do this. Sometimes they have a comfort break in the middle and um, you know they, 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 they're ignoring the other dogs around. It's good for them to look at the other dogs but then they're not overly reacting to it. Yeah. Yeah. So you've obviously got a head start on a lot of people coming into the breed because trimming is probably one of the, the major things that people would struggle with. Yes, uh, yes. You know, have, have you found a lot of newcomers kind of coming to you for advice? Yes, yeah, we get a lot of people. Um, we do like a, a day um, of where I work of training people how to groom the Kerry Blue so people can come along. And a lot of newcomers to the breed, uh, when they find out we do these days, they do come along and, and, and learn um, at least the basic style of where to start with going. Obviously later it's more their own, um, what they prefer, but we get them started on it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it, is, it is a very specialised kind of trim for the Kerry, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Generalised for the others. Um, so you've had quite good success in the ring yourselves. Yes, you know, yeah. How, how's the future looking for you? Are you looking forward to Puffs next year? Yes, we're looking forward to We've got uh, a new puppy uh, we've just brought out uh, today at the show here and uh, she did very well today and uh, we're hoping she's very promising for the future as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see more and more of her. Fabulous. Congratulations on your wins today. She's lovely. Thank you. Thank you.